Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my September update to the Throwback 30 Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was created by Jessica, and I will have all of that information linked in my description box. This project started on July 28th, and it goes to July 28th of next year. What Jessica did is she put 60 projects that we have in the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group. She put it up for a vote. Everybody voted on their favorite ones and the top 30 projects came into this project. So we are to look through all of the 30 projects that were selected, choose one prompt from each project and put it into here. So you do need to be a member of the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group because there is no way to put all of that information into a description box. So if you want to join, hop on over to there, join the group if you haven't, and feel free to join us. It's We still have 10 more months, so there's still plenty of time to do this project. So I have a few products here. I'm only going to be showing you the items that I have been working on over the past month. I did put all 30 items in at the beginning, and I actually have my first empty. So let's jump right on into it. The first one was a 12 days of Christmas. I chose the prompt eight maids of milking. So I chose my milk makeup longwear gel eyeliner in the shade bonus. As of the last update, I had used this three times and I was able to make this new mark. I have used it five more times and I'm just right below this mark. I can't quite make a new one. So I'm just gonna not make a mark. So this is the color of it right here. It is a really pretty shade. It's going pretty quickly. There we go. That's it right there. It's a really pretty shade and I do enjoy wearing this. But right now we are sitting at eight uses. My goal is to finish this so it'll be in the project for a while longer. After that was 50 Shades of Pink, something that has pink in the name, packaging, etc. So I rolled in my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. It has the pink lid on here. As of the last update, I had used it eight times to go from here to here. I have used it 10 more times and now I am right here. I have slow progress on this because I'm rotating between this and my Avant Micellar Water that's in my That's Expensive Project pan. I go between the two, so I'm not too worried about finishing this up anytime soon. I do have until July of next year to finish this up, so I'm just slowly using it. After that, I have Budget Beauty, something is budget friendly or drugs or from the drugstore. For that, I rolled in my Elf No Budge Shadow Stick. This one is in the shade Rose Gold. As of the last update, I had used it six times. It was taller than the than the cap. I like to measure it on the cap. It was taller on the cap. I used it six times and got down to here. And now I use it six more times and I'm right below that cap right there again, or where that mark. So I can't give a new a new mark, but this is what it looks like right here. It's really pretty. I do enjoy using it as an eyeshadow base. That's what it looks like right there. Just really pretty, works great. It doesn't crease or anything on me. So right now I'm at 12 uses and I have a whole lot more product to go. After that, I had Harry Potter and the Pan of Fire. I chose the prompt, The Bludger, something that is black. So I chose the Dose of Colors Block Party Eyeshadow in the shade I Need Space. As of the last update, I had used this 19 times. And over this past month, I have used it 20 more times. And this is it right here. I have a pretty decent dip going on. I'm at 40 uses so far and I don't have pan. So let me give you a swatch of this shade. It's a really deep, shimmery black. It's so pretty. I wear this in almost every single eyeshadow look that I do. I like to have a super dark uh, outer corner. So that's why this already has 40 uses on it. And my goal is to finish that. After that, I have Mean Girl Quotes, and I chose whatever, I'm getting cheese fries. And that is a comfort item. And for that, I chose my Laneige Lip Slipping Mask in Berry. This is the original. As of the last update, I had used it 17 times. I've used it 13 more, and I'm making a pretty decent dip in here. I'm nowhere near the bottom of this container, but I'm at 30 uses. Love this. this this one smells like bubble gum. I think this is my favorite one so far out of all the different ones that I have tried. After that, I have Pan as Old as Time. This was a Pan That Palette theme in the group before I joined it. And so you're supposed to choose some, uh, your oldest palette. Mine was the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, so I decided to work on the shade Glucose. 
As of the last update, I had used it 19 times. And over this past month, I have used it 22 more. And this is what it's looking like. So I did hit side pan and I was working my way on the corner. This is starting to chip very easily. I have pieces break off. I do try to use all the pieces that do break off, but this is crumbling. Um, it is dry, so I'm trying to use this up as quick as I can. I'm at 41 uses so far. My goal is to finish this eyeshadow. After that, I have the That's Expensive project pan. So I chose, you're just supposed to choose your most expensive item. I chose my most expensive makeup cleansing balm and this is the It Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This was brand new and I have used it 10 times over the past month. I'm making some decent progress in here. I'm about down to right here. This is really nice has a very light scent to it and it breaks down everything like my uh, pharmacy green clean does. I've been really impressed with this. They have changed the packaging. The packaging looks different. I don't think the formula has changed, but I found this at TJ Maxx, bought it because I wanted to try it out and it hasn't disappointed me at all. I really like it. So 10 uses, goal is to finish that. Next I have Tiny Pans, that was our Pan That Palette theme from last year. I chose my palette that has the tiniest pans. This is my BH Cosmetics So Spoiled palette. These eyeshadows in here are tiny. If you look at the size of my finger next to these, they're just little. My goal for this is to use it, no pan left behind, and then choose an eyeshadow and completely pan one eyeshadow in here. So as of the last update, I had used six of them so far for No Pan Left Behind. I had used this whole top row and these two right here. And over the past month, I have used this entire red row right here. I used them in conjunction with Love Letter from Modern Renaissance because again, I'm still trying to get that eyeshadow done and out of here. So I used these four eyeshadows to pair with that one and it looked beautiful. The formula on this is really nice. So now I am at 10 eyeshadows used the four or the six that I still need to use is this whole row right here of neutrals and then these two right over here. So I'm slowly working on these. I haven't used the neutrals yet because I am trying so hard to get as much progress as I can on my pan that palette so that I can finish it this year. That's why I haven't reached for the neutrals yet, but I'm okay because I do have till July of next year to hit that goal. And then the final one that I have is Turn and Burn, something that is a sample or deluxe size item. I decided to roll in my Lancome UV Expert Aqua Gel Defense. This is a sunscreen, it's a uh, 50 plus sunscreen. This was brand new, I've used it 15 times, and this is my empty. So I'm happy to have this one out. This was a really nice sunscreen. It didn't have a very strong smell. I like that it was uh, has an SPF of more than 30. Yeah, I really like this one. So this is my one and only empty so far in this project. I still have 29 goals still to hit. So that is everything that I have worked on, making slow and steady progress in this project, just like all the other ones. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, so be sure to check out the list of everybody else who is doing this project. And before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.